This video goes along with chapter 20 of this book and in this video I'm gonna calculate buckling by hand and use SOLIDWORKS simulation to reproduce the results. Uh, here you see what I'm gonna calculate. I'm gonna calculate a, a HE100A profile beam of a length of 10 meters and it's uh, subjected to a compressive force in which case buckling will have to be considered. So that's what I'm going to analyze first uh, by hand and then with help of SOLIDWORKS simulation and then compare the results. So here you see the, the formula that you can find on the internet quite easily for linear buckling. So for non-linear buckling you should use other formulas as well. But this one is for linear buckling, the Euler buckling, which is also the result of the SOLIDWORKS simulation that I will get. And for this I will need SOLIDWORKS simulation professional. So it's not in the standard SOLIDWORKS premium bundle, you'll need a, uh, an extra bundle of simulation software. So if you search on the internet or in books, you'll find that for this situation, with the lower side of the beam completely fixed, the N value is a quarter of one. And then when I enter all the values that I have over here, so uh, when I enter it over here in this formula, then I find the buckling load analytically of 6,933 newtons so I've, uh, I've used Excel for that I have it open over here so I've entered all the values uh, for the upper um, part of the equation and the lower part so what's in the below the, the line and then I've divided them and this is the value that I get when analyzing it by hand with the standard formulas and then I'm going to do the exact same simulation with SOLIDWORKS and I'll draw a line of 10 meters length starting from the origin put in the dimension of 10 meters and then use the weldment tool which is the most convenient to, uh, to draw beams like this and select the line I have a HE100A profile here pre-selected if you don't have it then uh, you should download all the necessary extra uh, beam profiles you can download them for free and without any doubt there's videos on that as well so now I'm gonna do a simulation and in that case I will need a buckling analysis and that's not in the standard SOLIDWORKS premium bundle so you'll need simulation professional for that then I'm gonna fix the lower part of this beam over here so it cannot move and it cannot rotate so that means uh, this, uh, this analysis is uh, fully fixed if one point is fixed then uh, a standard static or buckling analysis can be performed then I'm gonna enter a force on the top point over here and this force actually should be in this direction and the easiest if you just use one Newton then you'll find the buckling load factor which will be exactly equal to the value that we've, uh, we've just calculated with the formula so I'll then run the simulation and you see the deflection but it's not really of any use here you see the buckling load factor that's of the most use it's uh, 6933 Newtons so this this value is actually relative to this force which is now one newton so if you multiply one newton with this value you get the load at which it will buckle which is uh, 6,933 6 newtons and it's uh, very similar to this value over here very small rounding error but the result is uh, close enough to 100 percent so that's uh, how you analyze a buckling with SOLIDWORKS simulation and also uh, by using the formulas. So thanks for watching.